sofa6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. And, yes, they are. And it is. And it's Thursday, isn't it? Again. We've got a crowded room tonight. It's crowded. That's because there's a bit of a challenge on, isn't there, Mr. Malik? There is, yeah. Over my right shoulder, in, in the apple, the apple, we have Dave Malik. Um, and, and in fact, I shall cut to Dave Malik because I can't. Hello, Dave. How are you diddling, Cook? All right. Oh, I'm all right, thank you. How are you? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. It's lovely to see you walking around and breathing. But I noticed <laughs> you, you've got a sling over your shoulder. I do, yes. I've got a kind of shattered shoulder. So uh, right. I've got a lot of stuff going on at the moment, it, but I'm, I'm breathing, like you said. Right. So it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's for your arm. It's, you're not bragging and carrying something else in a sling. <laughs> no, that's wrapped around my other shoulder. <laughs> thought, uh, uh, thought you were going to say tucked into your sock. <laughs> it's Christmas. I like to be nice. In the bleak, but never mind. Shush. Now you've yeah. been out playing Christmas carols at a harvest festival, haven't you? Well, a bit of a mix-up there, but uh, yeah, uh, yes, yes, that's a, yes, yes, of course. And 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 of course, as everybody knows, Keith Keith's back. Yay! Oh, bugger, and I forgot to put all the gear away. Never mind. Um, yes, Keith's God. back. And over over Keith's shoulder, over my shoulder goes one cat. <clears throat> is Cat. As it was. Hello, Cat, you all right? I'm absolutely fine, she, I think. Yeah, she's been talking to cancer research tonight. Apparently the second <laughs> word was off. <laughs> oh, <coughs> Did they bring you out of bed, Pet? No, I was actually... The last I remember, I was sitting watching, I don't know, something on the telly. Great British Bake Off. No, Can't have been very stimulating. I have no idea. I can't even remember what it was. We, we don't talk about stimulation on the hairs, ever, do we, Chris? No, no, no. no, no. We, just, we, don't, we just don't go there, because it's rude, isn't it, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this isn't team talk. This isn't team talk. This is the here's though. This is a higher class of smut. I don't think there's a word in the Oxford Dictionary that you couldn't convert into something rude. There isn't one. They, no, I didn't think there was. But they've put a new one in. Twerking. All right. It's what a Yorkshireman does from Monday to Friday. Goes twerk, twerking. Oh, God. Right. <laughs> right. Yes. Had we better play the titles, do you think, Chris? I think it would be a good idea. Now, for once, can we all get this together? It'll be hello, good evening, and welcome to the Here's Hour. All right, all right, here we go. Hello, hello. good evening. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's what you get when living with parrots all the time. Damn. Everybody in chat do it as well. Hello, good evening, and welcome to the, the Here's Hour. Hour. And there you go, we're back in the room. Keith has just been poor going around the room like you wouldn't believe. He loves that music, don't you, Keith? Oh, it just mesmerises me. It yeah, really you're, you're in for a night of mesmerisation tonight. Oh, it's one of those it's nights. It's one of it's those nights. We're talking. Technical night. Well, in, 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 a, in a manner of speaking, because Chris is, look what Chris has got in her hand there now. I'll bring her full screen so you don't have to crane your neck. With what drip tip is that you've got in there? Isn't it pretty? Uh, it's pretty. It's one of my collection. I don't I've even ask. It's red. I've got it? a nice little collection of drip tips on my drip tip stand. Look at 
Oh, it's oh, very impressive. Can you see Isn't that, that Div? Pretty? I can now, yeah, it's very nice. That's yeah. flash. E flash or what? I'll for a quote and uh, Nick is style that. Tell is. It, it's me Christmas decoration, that. It looks better than a bobble on a Christmas she tree. She should have fairy lights round it, shouldn't she? Ah, uh, so didn't you. <laughs> Leave him out of it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Aye. Ooh, apparently John L256 has a squip under the tree. Well, Chris has got one in her hands. Hold it up. Let everybody see. Look at that. That was a Santi present, wasn't it? That was a Santi present, yes. To myself. Yes. We like buying presents for ourselves. Oh, yeah. I always buy myself a Christmas box. Indeed. Well, I, I, I buy the box. I'll never get out again in it. Um, and, th <laughs> and this year, Apple can't even get us what I want for Christmas. I'm going to be well upset. I wanted a Mac Pro. Oh. It's not available. But, yes, you've got the squip, and um, Sav's got one as well. And... Mm -hmm. and what I, I should tell everybody, we were sat on Skype, Wiccan and Coiling via Skype, weren't we? Indeed we were, and because it, everything was not as straightforward as I'd hoped. <laughs> well, quite. Uh, it seems to be doing the job all right now, though, Mrs. It is. It, it, it's, I think it's like any other device out there. You know, they all have that individuality. You know, what works on one probably doesn't work on another and so on and I, I learned a valuable lesson with this to be absolutely honest with you Dave mm -hmm. because I did what I normally do when I get something and I said I'll ask Dave how to do it <laughs> <laughs> and you showed me how you did yours and there it was billowing the, the smoke away you know and I thought why is me not doing that and I says, well, well, I've done this the same, I've done that the same, I've done the other the same. And the one thing that I didn't take into account is that you vape at a much higher wattage than me. I don't know how you can possibly say that. I'm looking at my copper <laughs> at the moment and it's only saying 13 watts. That's not high. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. It happens to be 6 volts on a 2.8 ohm coil. God. And once I learned that... Because, I mean, this coil I've got on here, I believe my E6 says it's 2.2. It does. But, um, once I did that, once I changed it and did what the way I normally do it in the spheroid, fine. Absolutely fine. So it's slightly going to be slightly different for everybody. Well, yes, without a doubt. And tonight, tonight... Tonight, gentle viewer, there's, there's going to be a bit of a challenge on. Apparently, it's challenge the Dave's night tonight. But it's Dave Malik and me because we're going to... I don't know whether you saw um, the, the diamond coil that's been invented in the United States of Americania. And somebody says, are you going to do one of those next? So tonight, without the aid of a safety net, a little bit later on, and I'm going to put it off as long as I can, for obvious reasons, we're going to have a blast at one of them. Now, didn't you have a go as well, Chris? No, it was the tri. Oh, the tri had, coil. Yeah, I've never had a go at the diamond one, well, so I'm fascinated to watch this. Trust me, the diamond one makes the tri coil look like a walk in the park with your own dog and not somebody else's. Mm. Are you ready for this, dear? Because Mr. Malik, Mr. Malik is going to be doing it the same time as me, aren't you? Have you got a camera that you can put down where you, your hands are working? I don't, no. Ah, so you can... I bet you've made five earlier. <coughs> no, I wish I had. <laughs> <laughs> I tried Mind one I last night it's not me doing it, Dave. So this is going to be fun. Well, if you want to join in, Chris, you can. Uh, no, no, I'm lucky I can even coordinate hand-eye to pick up my e-cig at the moment. Oh, fair enough. Well, we'll have a blast at that. So I'm going to enjoy watching you two. We'll have a go at it in the... St oh, my God. All Git says next week it'll be a pentagram coil. <laughs> no, no. Uh -huh. No, no, no. It, it, yeah, this one actually does make the uh, the tricro coil look like a walk in the park. But, oh, Winter's been making one for, Maddie, for MP. Is that Maddie Paulus, as used to be? No. No. A different one. MP, diamond coil, has it on his dripper. I want to know what you think of that then, MP. Do tell us, do tell us. 
Oh, oh, they're at it. Chat's at it. We've now got octo coil with cotton and silica combo. <laughs> I hate to think what's going to come on here. I'm, I'm not reading the, the one that's two down from there, or one <laughs> up from there. They've mentioned the word flange. You should never do that where Davy Malik is. Look at his, look at his little face there, Neil. <laughs> you say the word flange and look at that. That's it, I'm gone. <laughs> Oh, it's Adam from a seat and not Maddie. Hi, MP. Yes, that's 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 who it is. That's who it is. It's Adam from a seat. Nice, can't be bad. Octo coil on an octopus, and now we've got a dodecahedral coil. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is it's very worrying. Anyway, before we get there. You might recall a wee while ago, um, I, w I was in the Republic of Ireland for Vapefest Island, Irish Vapefest as we know it over here because Vapefest Island's far too much of a mouthful when you've had 16 pints of Guinness. Some would say 16 pints of Guinness is too much of a mouthful. I respectfully disagree. Um, while I was over there, Miles Dolphin was there as well and he gave me a bottle of juice that he thought Keith would like mm -hmm. very much. Sorry, I was just reading. Were you? Yes. What, what are they up to now? Have they got 25 coils, Tesla coils? They're doing all kinds. It's getting really technical. Well, it's, it's kind of to be expected in some way. Anyway, yes. So, Miles, um, give me this bottle from Trip Hammer. Right. Right. Trip Hammer e liquid with natural and organic flavourings. Natural and organic. Well, we thought that would suit you because you like playing with your organ, don't you? <laughs> There's no answer to that. Well, that's where you were earlier, wasn't it? Uh, uh, yes. Was it your organ oh, you were playing with or somebody I, else's? I wasn't actually playing with it. Were you not? No. Playing it. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, whatever, yes. Well, your wife was there, so... <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> this is 36 milligram blue cinnamon crumble oh that sounds blueberry uh, cinnamon crumble and what i've right. done i'll go to i'll go to closey up you can because i can i have on here just an ordinary micro coil with a cutting well wick which i have pre-soaked with this to give it a chance to get its act together so i thought you might like to give it a try have the you whole tried it I might have done. I'm about to now before I give it to you, just in case I didn't get it back. Right on. Mmm. There you go. It's a bit wet. It's very wet. Here we go. Keith Cam. With cat over his shoulder. I love watching your face when you're taking a, a thoughtful drag, Keith. It's working, Chris. <laughs> be, he'd be asleep in 30 seconds, you watch. Not quite. You said it was wet. I think the coil's a little bit wet. It wants a few more drags, then it'll do better vapour. People know I can't drip. I, I don't do dripping. Moonlit has just said, you'll understand this, Chris. When I have my headphones on and people are doing things on my screen, does that not imply that I'm bloody busy? Yes, it does, sunshine. <laughs> what do you make of that, then, Keith? different. <coughs> I, I, I think the flavour is a very dry flavour, for want of a, a better word. Cleanses you know, the palate, you mean? Um... I wouldn't have said that, no. It's another, just another talk. <coughs> Would you not say it's dry? I've got the crumble <coughs> and I've got the blueberry. The blueberry's tart. It's like somebody's cooked the blueberries but they haven't put the sugar in. Or they put yes. a teaspoon in instead of the tablespoon it said in the yes. recipe. Mmm. And you've got that hint of cinnamon, haven't mm -hmm. you? 
it is flooded. It's one that would grow on you. That. It is flooded. I'm just going to dry it off a tad. Right, I've dried it off a tad. It's amazing what you can do with a tea towel, you know. Don't tell Jill. Don't tell Jill. I'll get hung, drawn and quartered. So look at Davy Malik sitting there smiling. I know that feeling. Well, you can see the scars across my back. That's just off cut. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, Joe, then hand it back. <laughs> that's working. Oh, that's nice. That is, that is high-end restaurant blueberry crumble with just a, the, tiny, a, the tiniest hint of cinnamon, just enough to say, hello, I'm cinnamon. Mm. But it's, it's, like the, it's like the blueberries. When you cook the blueberries, instead of putting... A tablespoon of sugar in you've put a teaspoon of sugar in so there's that acid biting through yeah that's that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. now funnily enough mark shaw's mentioning a bottle of mrs lord's hot toddy, <laughs> hot toddy. guess what i've got i've got some hot toddy as well that's my dog toddy i know is he hot I wouldn't have said so, does but that, there you go. Does that mean this is going to taste a sweaty dog? Could be. That probably grows on you. As I say, it's if a you're bit, not enjoying it, gives it back. It's, no, I didn't say that. <coughs> it, it, it's a Can bit, I just say, yeah, um, I vape quite often uh, cinnamon-based <coughs> juice. And yes. it's, uh, it's called spider venom. Um, and it's a fruity cinnamon. And it's one of those, when I first tried it, I didn't enjoy it. But then you get used to it and that cinnamon flavour comes through. And there's also the fruit and there's a coolness to it as well and it's it really is a grower and there's quite yeah. a few juices yeah. I know now are coming out with cinnamon in them and they oh, i love them yeah i said it, it it is something that i think would grow on you um it's grown but, on me but as you said that there's there's hardly any sweetness there mm. is it? very um sort of dry and acidic it's <clears throat> Imagine if you will, imagine if you will, a crumble, right? A blueberry crumble, where the crumble is about that thick and the blueberry is about that thick. Yes. You go through the crumble and you get that nice biscuity, flowery, um, buttery sort of crunchy loveliness. That, that's the first <coughs> thing that hits you. Then you hit that blueberry that just makes you go, Oh, mmm. Just sound like Mary Berry. I'm hoping I look a bit better than her. Yeah. It, yes, it, it's it, there's, there's buttery, buttery, crumbly gorgeousness, and then this blueberry just comes through and <laughs> flicks your clack for you. It's gorgeous. Mmm. Uh, uh -huh. Do you want to go, Dave? Oh, I wish. <laughs> <coughs> It is nice. That is very nice. It sounds really good. I'll let you. Uh, I'll let you keep on with that for a little while while we're going to the adverts. That's very kind. Yeah. Be no problem. Yeah. Be no problem. I've got two lots of chat running here, and I'm confused now. But yes. Um, so that that was that's from Trip Hammer, e liquid, with natural and organic flavourings. It says here. Eh? Um, and it's got a full list of ingredients on it. And it's it's got all of the everything you should have. Childproof locks, childproof locks. <sighs> We've been looking at the kitchen again, Chris. Childproof locks. <laughs> and bacon cakes. Um, which is why my fingers are all blue, but you'll see that later. Yeah, it's it's got everything it should have, which is all good. 36 milligram. Like it. It's nice. Very good. Yes, I'm sensing more of the cinnamon now, Dave. It's it's this is this is why I don't drip, because you've got to know how to do it, and patently as I've demonstrated, I don't. How quite how mind you that's cotton wool wicking as well, isn't it, Chris? That does let it flood through, doesn't it? Yes, yes. Nobody can say that cotton wool doesn't wick well because it does. That it definitely does, and we'll talk a little bit more about that after the adverts, which we're about to go into right now. Back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of The Haze Out.
6. Sponsors of the Hayes Hour. And we are back in the room. Go on, Keith, tell them what you said. It hasn't grown on me yet. It's no. He still prefers the blueberry and the custard, the Gillis custard. Yes. 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 I wonder, I wonder whether it would be worthwhile putting two or three drops of that and two or three drops of custard. God. Then you'd have, <coughs> then you'd have blueberry cinnamon crumble and custard. Yes, because if I do have crumble, I always have custard with it. I have cream. Ah. Posh. But there you go. Dave? Yeah. Shall we? No. <laughs> oh, okay then. Okay. Close you up, you can. Here we go. I'm going to have a blast at this diamond coil and I'm going to build it into the squip. And I want to see how long it is before I hear, where's my bloody scissors coming from, Chris? I'll take them followed, I'll followed by, I can I get these bloody cotton wool through this bloody little hole? It's far too bloody small. <laughs> <laughs> Let me uh, show you the ingredients that you need. Close the epicam. Here we go. We start with a hypodermic needle. I'm using a brown one. That means. Oh, I've got a brown one. Oh, well, you let off then, haven't you? You've got a bodkin, though, haven't you? I've got a bottle. Does it have to be a brown one? Well, they're all different gauges, they're different sizes, they're different colours, you see. So That's does the colour signify the gauge? It does, yes, and the yellow one's narrower than this. And trust me, if you can manage it with a yellow one, you're doing exceptionally well. Next, you need some canthal. This is 0.25 millimetre. You're probably better off with three if you like lower resistance coils. And what you do... Whip it up's asking, where do you get the needles from? I don't know, but if you find one, let us know, because I've lost me. Right, will do. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll research that, and I shall let you all know next week where I got them from. So you start off by wrapping three or four coils very close together, right? One, two, three proper ones, and then space it and do three more and you want them as close to touching as you can get there's three then space it again and wind three more and you can see i'm getting a twist in this because i'm trying to keep it tight we on camera we are two three and then a final one and three very <coughs> close <coughs> tight turns on the last one you probably want to make sure that you've brought your wire round so that the two bits of wire are at right angles right what i then do is take what i then do i've only done it the day is take me tweezers and push that down so that that bottom bit of coil is straight and then do the same with the other bits of coil Give them a good tweeze so that they're all lying very, very close together. Touching, in fact. And you should have, then, that kind of setup. I don't know whether you can see it all that well, but if I take it off the needle, you will. And there it is. Four nano coils. And Woolly Vapen's right, I do need to cut my nails. I've only got one long one, you've got to pick your nose with something. <laughs> well, it's true. Are you managing, Dave? Trying to. One arm isn't easy to do. No. There, I've got my four coils. you got your four coils, good. Right, now comes... Have you got them all snugged up, have you? Yep. That's good, that's good. Right. Back to uh, close you up, you can't really go. <coughs> so there's your four coils. Now, you've got to wick these, and this is the hard part, because what you want to end up with, Chris? 
Yeah. Watch your screen, watch your screen, watch your screen. Okay, 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 okay. Watch the screen. Right, because what you want to end up with is this. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. God. <laughs> you want your, your wick to go, because this is going to go into the, uh, into the squirt, remember. You want your wick going right the way around. But... I've, I've just seen chat going crafty. Yeah, I know. So I am going to do it. And here is my sterile <laughs> cotton pad. It's not a cooking programme for Margot, for Mago. And I'll take the Nigella, thank you, David Drummond. Oh, Nigella. Yes. Ni oh, you like Nigella, don't you, Keith? Yes. Yes. Here's how, here's, here's how you do it. You need a strip of cotton wool that's roughly three sixteenths of an inch in cubic cross section. God, so if I can show you how much there is, there's the size for you. And what you do is you take the raggy end and measure it up against the coil because that's the bit you're going to wind roll really tight. Okay, so here we go. And you want that really tight and quite stiff. You roll it between your fingers until it goes very, very stiff. <laughs> Sav, if you're watching chat, can you delete any wrong things they say? <coughs> roll it between your fingers until it's very, very stiff. You want it tight and stiff. I can see they're starting and I'm trying to concentrate here. So you should now be able to take your cutting well and push it through the hole. Ah, it wants to be what tighter. What if it's not stiff enough? Well, if it's not stiff enough, you've got to keep rolling it with your fingers until it is, Keith. Right. Because you're going to get rid of that bit. So you want that bit good and tight. And then we'll try again. And I'm definitely not looking at chat because I know exactly you know what this what? is. If what? I had to do this uh -huh. to enjoy vaping, I'd go back to fags. <laughs> what a bloody palaver. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well said, Keith. You better go and see Bridget then. It's still not tight enough. Same here. Looks like a bloody horse's tail wagging. <laughs> I don't even look at chat. Uh -huh. Are they being rude? I wouldn't. It's they not Viagra. It's the blue <laughs> stuff. The blue stuff on my fingers is not Viagra. The blue stuff on my fingers is dye. From... <laughs> Use my whole hands. <laughs> <sighs> Keep rolling. Do you know the stupid part is when I did that one I'd made earlier, it just worked. Tell you what, why don't we just use that then? Because <laughs> I'm fighting miserably. Oh, a guy's trying to do it with one bloody hand. Well, <laughs> he volunteered. Should never do that. And you know what they say about volunteers? Better than three pressed men. Best use the blue stuff. <laughs> right. I think I've got that through three, and I'll put a separate one through. It's coming. If you pull it for long enough, it'll come. Some of them are backing me on this. Uh, I'm not. I can't say I'm right. Sorry. Here's one I made earlier. <laughs> and what we've got to do now is make a diamond shape out of it. And it's simply a matter of taking it and bending it, bearing in mind that that is going to go through one side of your scrape. So I'm going to bend that to right angles. Bend it, bend it. Just, just a little bit. I. <laughs> is that before your time, Dave? Oh, completely, yeah. Well, they're all saying the word palavas before their time. Well, that's true as well. Okay, so what I've got now is effectively a little diamond. 
that is fully wicked. So what the hell are you going to do with that? I'll show you, Keith. I'm pleased you asked. <laughs> I'm still trying to get the bloody cotton wool through. <laughs> <laughs> That's the hard bit, isn't it, Davy? It's ridiculous. Do you know, I'm, I'm uh, just entranced. You, know, you are, so, are you? So stimulating, this. I'm pleased you think so. Um, and just, just for the benefit of everybody watching, here is one that I did earlier. Um, and it, you can't actually see what's going on with it all that much, but there it is. That is a diamond coil in place. So I'll take that one out and put this new one in. And we'll see how it all goes together. And at that point, I'm giving up because with one hand, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm, here, I'm here to tell you, Dave, with two hands, it's not that easy. Well, I think you're very brave, Dave. I do, really. Do you think he's very brave, Dave? Keith? Yes, doing that, yes. <laughs> I think With one hand. I don't know whether he's brave or fool. Looks fool-hardy. like a blob of poo, yes, a, quite. What, a blob of which? Poo. Do you, <clears throat> you, he's trying very hard for Sav's job here, but I'm sorry, you're not quite cutting the mustard. <laughs> I'll bin that one. Right, and then I shall take the cloth that she who must be obeyed is not aware I still have, because if she knew it was there, I'd get hung, drawn and quartered. Dry me platform off. Right, so what I'm now going to do is connect this up and the idea is to have that diamond around that center <laughs> hole what the same now keith looks like a burnt spider well yes it probably does so fasten that side on now to be fair it's not going to go in a full diamond in this format. It just isn't. That's not going to happen. But you can get it close. It's, and it's a fiddle and it's a fart and it's a clark and it's a carry on and it is a palaver. But people asked and so I decided I'd give it a go. The things I do, eh? it's going to end up being a bit more of a horseshoe than a diamond is this. I'm just thinking Dave, watching you do this. Yep. You know when you've made those first, the four coils, and you've you've still got them all on the, the needle or whatever it is. Uh huh. Would it be a, an idea, at that stage, to push the whole lot close together? Yeah. And having them close together, then try and thread through. Yes. And then let it spring. And then back. let it spring back. You could do. It's, it's getting the wicks in and getting the damn thing fitted into the device that's the really hard part with all of this. Winding the mm. coils is simple. Yeah. But the idea is, you see, that you get... There we are, that's in. The idea is that you get the airflow up between the coils. Mm -hmm. So that it sits like that. Mm -hmm. Do you see the air hole down at the bottom? Mm-hmm. So that the idea is that it's going to spit the vapour straight up that centre hole. So effectively yeah. that, that there would be the, the direction it would all just come in. That's the yeah. idea behind it. So having got that in, I'm going to start doing some snippage now. And we'll get the wicking sorted out. Now I can tell you for a certain fact, and you know this Chris, that this cotton wool stuff just wicks like there's no tomorrow. Yes, in does. fact, yours overwick, didn't it? Yeah. For me? Yes. Um, but probably not for you. No. Because you draw in a lot more than I do. And, you know, this is what I'm learning as I'm watching all it, this. It, doesn't, it does need a lot more. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to snug this bit down into the channel, like that, and then just cut it off. <laughs> I mean, one thing I will say, I know this looks a fact. does. But when we first started with the Jennies um, and coiling around a bit of mesh, etc., that was much harder than this is, to uh, be honest. Yes, and the other and bit you just... You just get used to it, don't you? You do. Right. So now I've got that snugged. Yeah. And I've got the wick in either channel so now I need some juice 
and I don't need much I just want to dampen it all down and then we can give it a little try and see what I'm running at mm -hmm. resistance wise it should be around about 2.3 2.4 ohms if I've Looks worked like it right. Looks like a little life, life belt. It does doesn't it and that, there it is dampened up so you can see exactly how it's supposed to be with that gap up the middle so I'll stick it on the copper Have you given up, Dave? Yep, totally. Ruined the coils trying to get the bloody cotton wool through. Aye. Uh, like I said, you've got to roll it in your fingers until it's stiff. That's what I was doing, but that was off camera. All right, let's have a look. <laughs> Thanks, you, you can see that it's running at 2.6 ohms. I've got it at 13 watts. So let's see what occurs. <laughs> and you can see straight away that it's pumping it out that. straight up the centre. It wants a bit more juice on, otherwise it's going to not wick. So we'll juice it up. And there's a complete lack of hot spots, look. That's the beauty of this system. You never see hot spots at all. No. Right, I shall now put it back into the scrape. And I might as well do it that way. Why not? Screw it all together. Come back to camera one because they've seen my blue fingers for long enough now. Drip tip, there it is. And give it a blast. Somebody's just said that they now use pro tanks. It's a shame they don't do <coughs> cotton wicks in there. <coughs> Shall we give it a go, Keith? Sorry? Keith, calm. Now you are going to need to let the button up every so often, I suppose, but... What do you reckon of that? Yes. It's producing, isn't it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, but mine does without going through all that bloody palaver. That is true. <laughs> <coughs> I'm going to whack it up. And just to prove to people where it's getting whacked up to, back the closer you up you can. So they know. <coughs> 2.5 ohms. As we said last time, the more you use these, the lower they go. 15 watts. Let's see what it does. <clears throat> that would appear to be working quite nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Liana's just said uh, cotton can over wick a little, which it yeah. does, unless you Dave Dawn and a more intense vapour, if you know what I mean. Try that now, Keith. That is absolutely smacking it. That's chucking out the vapour. It is. Yeah, and all get all gets found the same as me. Cotton's too flavour intense for me. Makes me cough like an asthmatic pit pony. Is that you or all get? That's all get. That's what I was going to say. What have you the got in thing. That's our Y6 with a little bit of 54 milligram caramel lychee. But just a very small amount. Yeah, it's certainly producing uh, vapour and, and flavour. Oh, the flavour's fabulous. <coughs> I mean, this, this, I've forgotten his name, the guy that, uh, don't be like that woolly vape. <coughs> How many people <coughs> fell asleep while DD was coiling? Just Keith. Just no, Keith. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm really pleased to see <laughs> that there are, there are others. You know, let, let, let's, let's say, for example, if tonight you'd had some people who just being introduced to vaping yes. watching this. Yes. Would you not agree that that would put them off? I don't know. New viewers. I don't know. We can't please everybody all of the time. Oh, no. Um, 
and there's there's a whole selection of stuff there. I mean, we will talk about other things in the third half. Right, Jordan, yes. But for the second half, I thought, right, the challenge was there. I'm still working on trying to come up with other kinds of coils as well. And I, I take absolutely no credit for this at all. I really don't. Um, I just think it, it just fascinates me as, as a hobbyist, if you like, that you can mess about that second one that I've done, the one that we've done there just now, is working better than the first one I did. Um, it's really, really banging the vapour out, and I do like that. And it, it, I'm fascinated by people that have the, the intellectual capacity to sit and work these things out, because I'm just thick. I agree with you there, Dave. I think the thing to remember is there's people who will enjoy that kind of thing, and there's people who can't be bothered to do that. And me personally, I like to try them out. Mm, exactly. I can't always get them right, but it's trying it and I enjoy doing that. And there's people who won't bother. You know, but you isn't the, it brilliant that we've now got a choice? Because, you know, we started off with um, silica and then we had mesh. We had the different gauges of mesh. Then we had the rope. And now we've got this. So the chances that you've always got something to hand that you can make a coil with if you have to. You know, I find that choice is really brilliant. Exactly right. Exactly right. So it's a bit misty in here. That was off three, was it three or four drags I took there, Dave? I wasn't looking. <laughs> it wasn't very many. It's banging. It was certainly the, producing vapour and flavour. And flavour. Vapour and flavour. <laughs> if you're a flavour hound, you would love that. There's plenty of vapour. I mean, I can barely see it. Yeah. We'll go into the adverts, <laughs> and when we come back, we're going to try this uh, hot toddy from Mrs. Lords, and we'll talk about that, and, and I'll let you know how I've been getting on with the E-mode. Back in two minutes. But before we go, did I tell you Andy Sutton was coming back? You knew, didn't you, Chris? I did. Did you know Andy Sutton's coming back, Dave? I did, yeah. I cannot wait for this. This is going to be like Doctor Who Confidential, is to Doctor Who, that's what this is going to be, to swaff. Adverts. Sabre Six sponsors of the Haze Hour.
6. Sponsors of the Haze Hour. And we're back in the room. As ever was, during the course of the adverts, I took the opportunity to pull the cotton <coughs> wool wick out of the dripping atomizer and I have dripped onto it some of Mrs. Lord and Company's Hot Toddy Batch 014. It's 24 milligram. Um, it has all of the, the, the proper stuff, all of the child proofing, doodaddy, flipply, fling it. It's we're back to that, aren't we? There you are. There it is, look. All of the information that you could require. You can even see the raised triangle on there. All of the addresses and everything else. There is 15 mils of hot toddy, batch number 14. So there we go. In a glass bottle as well. And I like glass bottles, don't you, Chris? Bottle. Yeah, we always used to get glass bottles. Mm. I think that's better because you can't leach anything stupid out of a glass bottle into the juice. Yes. Won't leach any, there's no, it's glass. Yes. That's what, what things ought to be in. Right, we'll give this a, we'll give it a go. Hot right. toddy. Hot toddy, Hot right. toddy, so it should taste of sweaty dog. You say so. I'm thinking hot toddy is going to be whiskey and honey. There's definitely honey. This is going to be interesting. And there's definitely some kind of alcohol. Yes, it says flavourings less than 30%. That's a bit high, I think. A strong hint of lemon. There's a strong hint of something citrusy in there, but there would be lemon in a hot toddy. Possibly. Whiskey, lemon, honey and water. That's a hot toddy where I come from, isn't it, you, Chris? Or sugar. Yes. Honey, lemon, yeah. Honey, lemon, whiskey and water. Same with you, Dave? Yeah. So that's what we're expecting. 30% no. Now that's, that's really high. pleasant. You're that's liking that, are you? Mm. Might have to drip it again. I like that. <clears throat> Once a little more. Yes, I'm using a pipette. There's obviously something like honey <sighs> taking the edge off the lemon. Yes. Yes, it's the, the lemon is, um, it's actually a little bit, I don't know whether you've ever tried, roasted lemon. I haven't, no. If you roast, Chris, I know, you're bound to have, Chris. What's Ro that? Roasted lemon. Roasted lemon? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it's got, it's got that, that kind of roastiness about it. Uh, no, that's something you could take to, that. It's a blended whiskey, though. <laughs> bells, is it? It's, 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 it's bells. Bells, is it? It's bells. A famous grouse. It's not grouse. You you it's taste just a single malt, don't you? Taste it again. You'll get that edge of bells. I'm not that much of a whiskey connoisseur. I'm I'm now <laughs> picking up uh, oh, I've, whiskey. I've, I've, Never drank it. Never drank. I wouldn't know. It's uh, something. Not something. No. 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 You'd never see. You'd never see Dave drinking whiskey. Uh, no. The overwhelming flavour to me is the slightly sweetened lemon. Yes. And the and and the alcohol is a hint. There's a hint of whiskey. Than, yes. It's it's not overwhelming by no. any uh, by any stretch of the imagination. It it's it is. It's a hot toddy mixed for somebody that doesn't drink whiskey. And it's, I've got that, that honeyness is just floating around inside no, my nose. It's really pleasant. It is, isn't it? Mm. It's not over flavoured, Chris. The, the, I'll just keep my mouth shut. The quantity seems high, but it's not over flavoured as though they're really it's concentrated flavours. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Um, I have a problem with that sort of concentration. Yeah. really quite unique that yes I'll drip you a little bit more in and you can 
you can enjoy that for the rest of the show. Thank you. You're welcome. It's not top pocketable. As if I'd think such a thing. Juices, though. Well, what about you? Ah, oh, it's no, no. You, you know, you drop these things in my top pocket. It's only 24 milligram. Not enough for me. Um, I did want to come back to the E mode because I did see on Twitter uh, that one or two people had been asking how long the coil should last. And the first one has died the death. Well, it hasn't died the death, it's wimped out. Uh, my wife's, who is using hers exclusively, and as it happens, and it's such a mess on this table now with all those bits of wicks and what have you, and one I made earlier. My wife's wimped out, so I pulled it to bits, or as much to bits as I could. And this is what I found inside. It's really rather cleverly built, is that. So you've got a little juice reservoir surrounding, and you can just see wicks going down the side of that little juice reservoir. I don't know whether it's massively visible there. God, it looks like the inside is... Uh, one of the GG types, doesn't it? It does a bit. Ah, uh, the I mean, ceramic cups yeah, from a distance. Ceramic yeah. cup. Um, I can see one coil. I don't know whether there's two. It's, I haven't been able to get it any further apart than that. I will say, however, that there's a lot of constituent parts to this. Um, and it is working and has been serving my darling wife extremely well. To the point where if I ask to borrow it, I get told no though not necessarily in those words. She she has become Sava like mm -hmm. She's almost permanently plugged in now. She charges it all via USB. I rarely get a battery to put onto the charger. Uh, only if she's run out while we've been out and I've got I, I always I, I always carry a spare battery. Uh, only if she's run out while we've been out. But otherwise when she's in, I mean when when Keith arrived tonight, hers was sitting on the table, plugged in, charging via USB. Um, she's running it in variable wattage mode um, and it's serving her particularly well. So, for my wife, who used to smoke 20 a day and will fill those tanks twice a day, three weeks of solid use out of one of the, uh, the atomizer heads that goes in the E mode, which kind of says, that's £1.72 a week marginal cost. Impressive. That's not bad. And these things work very nicely. I'm really rather impressed. Um, I have been told that they look elegant in my hand. And the bloke's guide dog was gorgeous. It does look impressive. Huh? It is. It's nice. Switched it off like a fool. Switches itself off which is also good. Preserves the battery which is excellent. As Woolly Vapen has pointed out and I, it's been so long since I've ever had to buy anything it is cheaper than a pack of filters and probably lasts you longer. So in the great scheme of things um, I think that's pretty damn good and as I say the, uh, the, the, the units are, are serving us both well. However I have noticed something I have noticed something. I have both the black and the silver. And no matter which base unit I put the atomizer on, the silver one is a tighter draw. And I don't understand why. But it just is. It's just a, a slightly tighter draw than the black one. So if you like an airy, easy draw, get a black one rather than a silver just one. Just have a look at the, the black mm. one. <coughs> Right, that is elegant, isn't it? It is, isn't it? Yeah. Tell you what, while you're looking at that, I'll, re I'll remind everybody what else we've got coming up for the rest of the week.
How does that emote compare with, um, say, an EVOD as a starter kit? Um, Price-wise, the EMOD will run at, uh, by the time you've taken all the discounts and everything into account, around about 85 quid. Um, right. So it's, it's, it's substantially more expensive. Um, but it does, it lasts a lot longer in terms of the, uh, uh, one the battery life and one what have you. is leaking. Right. That one, I think. That would be that one, yes, if you've uh. tipped it on its side with it being a dripper. Um, while we were offline, I was made aware, offline, doing the adverts, I was made aware that a question was asked in chat whether or not Mrs. Lord and company had paid me to take a look at that juice. And the answer is no. Nobody pays us to take a look at anything. That's right. Um, everything we do, we do because we want to. Um, and I can put my hand on my heart and say we would <laughs> always, but always, tell it the way we see it. That's the way with every programme on VaporTrails.tv. We pride ourselves on our independence and our, our ability to be able to say the truth about everything we look at. So no, it was given to me while I was in Ireland. Somebody thought I would like it and I decided I would take a look at it tonight because I was intrigued by the whole hot toddy thing. So I hope that answers your question. It's worthwhile asking and we've answered it. And that, I think, brings us up to the end of the show, doesn't it, Chris? I'm afraid so, David. It's flown again. It just stops by. It goes hurtling past at a rate of nuts. It's faster than Santy's reindeer with two pounds of chilli shoved up their jacksies. That's how quick <laughs> it's gone. Isn't that right, Davey? Yeah. <laughs> it has absolutely flown by, and it's been a pleasure to be on here, so thank you very much for having me. It's been lovely having you. It's been lovely to see you again. I'm liking the new barnet, by the way. Yeah, that's going to go soon. <laughs> oh, I thought you'd been letting it grow. I was, I was going to say, you look an awful lot like uh, George Clooney. On a foggy day. I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> <George>. <laughs> I was actually going for the Borat look. For who? Borat. Borat? Yeah. Yes. My wife, she like. My sister-in-law, <laughs> she won't push back. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Say good night, Dave. Good night, Dave. <laughs> good night, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Don't expect sense. I've got none left in me. As ever, ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great pleasure. You've just seen the rest of the programmes that are on. Don't forget RY4 Radio as well, because DJ Bobo will be spinning his <laughs> wheels of steel immediately after this. He's probably doing it now. So head off over to RY4 Radio and you can boogie, out, boogie on down, reggae woman. Or is it reggae sauce? I don't know. Whatever. It's been a great pleasure to spend the last hour in your company. Thank you so much for joining us. Until the next time, from Kat, from Keith, from Davey and me, from all of us here at Vita TV Towers, vape on, vape hard, nil carbo rundum illegitimai, and I'll see you on Twitter on the 15th. Till then, right. take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Sponsors of the Haze Hour.